The next thing to do is to select an altitude to fly at and then look up the winds for that altitude so that we'll be able to complete ground speed and a wind correction angle. Well, the first thing in altitude selection is to determine if there's any airspace restrictions. Now, if we would have gone direct to Crystal River, we would have clipped the corner of this Class Bravo, which would have meant we couldn't be any higher than 6,000 feet without a Class Bravo clearance. But the route that I picked, taking us north and then off to the west, keeps us clear of that, so we have no particular airspace restrictions. So the next thing to look at then would be the winds aloft forecast. So looking at the current winds aloft forecast for our time of departure, we need to select a reporting station to use, whichever one is closest to our route. So a few contenders are St. Petersburg, Tallahassee, maybe Jacksonville. And out of those, the closest three near me are uh, would be St. Petersburg. And St. Petersburg is actually closest to every segment on this route. If we would be traveling more severely up to the north, then at some point we would want to switch and use perhaps the Tallahassee winds aloft forecast. But for this route, we can use the St. Pete winds for every leg of our route. So which altitude would be best? Well, we're headed roughly north and northwest. So looking at our wind options, we can get uh, 180 at 24 knots, or if we go up to 6,000, winds would be from 210 at 18 knots. So our route is more to the north, so the best wind for us is 180 degrees. That will give us the best tailwind. If we went higher, the wind would clock around slightly to the west, and it would have much less of a tailwind component. So the best wind for us, the best ground speed we're going to get is flying lower at around 3,000 feet. 3,000 feet is an acceptable altitude um, because we're not yet above 3,000 feet where we would have to worry about flying odd thousands going east and even thousands going west. So 3,000 will work for us. So I'm going to fill in 3,000 feet all the way down the line and then I'm going to copy over the wind direction and velocity from the St. Pete winds forecast for all three legs of our flight.